had your drink. Now, I want I you know. to. I know. Free. Police officers! That was way too close. We are not doing that again. Verify you want to switch targets. Over. Trust me. This is the one he's been looking for. I thought you'd be back by 11. I said I'd be back later. I assumed you'd be back later. If you came back at all, you'd be back later. Well, I'm back. Okay. Is this rubble? It was just a little workout. Just to stay loose. You know how I feel about that, Bob. Darn you, we can't blow cover again. The building was coming down anyway. I what? <sighs> You knocked down a building? It was on fire, structurally unsound. It was coming down anyway. Tell me you haven't been listening to the police scanner again. Look, I performed a public service. You act like that's a bad thing. It is a bad thing, Bob. Uprooting our family again so you can relive the glory days is a very bad thing. Reliving the glory days is better than acting like they didn't happen. Yes, they happened. But this, our family, is what's happening now, Bob. And you are missing this. I can't believe you don't want to go to your own son's graduation. It's not a graduation. He is moving from the fourth grade to the fifth grade. It's a ceremony. It's psychotic. They keep creating new ways to celebrate mediocrity. But if someone is genuinely exceptional, this then This is not they... about you, Bob. This is about Dash. You want to do something for Dash? Then let him actually compete. Let him go out for sports. I will not be made the enemy here. You know why we can't do that. Because it'd be great! This is not! about you all right dash i know you're listening come on out rise you too young lady come on come on out it's okay kids we're just having a discussion pretty loud discussion yeah but that's okay because what's important is that mommy and i are always a team we're always united against uh the forces of uh, pig-headedness i don't know what you're even saying we're sorry we woke you everything's okay Go back to bed, it's late. No, Mom, we hope so. Good night. In fact, we should all be in bed. Press claim on claim numbers 158 and 183. You will be receiving... Esther Hubbard would like to talk to you in his office. Hmm. Now? Now. Sit down, Bob. I'm not happy, Bob. Not happy. Ask me why. Why? Why what? Be specific, Bob. Why are you unhappy? Your customers make me unhappy. What? You've gotten complaints? Complaints I can handle. What I can't handle is your customers' inexplicable knowledge of insurer inner workings. They're experts. Experts, Bob! Exploiting every loophole, dodging every obstacle. They're penetrating the bureaucracy! Did I do something illegal? No. Are you saying we shouldn't help our customers? The law requires that I answer no. We're supposed to help people. We're supposed to help our people! Starting with our stockholders, Bob! Who's helping them out, huh? You know, Bob, a company is like an enormous clock. Is like an enormous clock. Yes, precisely. It only works if all the little cogs mesh together. Now, a clock needs to be cleaned, well lubricated, and wound tight. The best clocks have jewel movements, cogs that fit, that cooperate by design. <laughs> I'm being metaphorical, Bob. You know what I mean by cooperative cogs? Bob? Bob? Look at me when I'm talking to you, Par! That man out there, he needs help. Do not change the subject, Bob. We're discussing your attitude. He is getting mugged. Well, let's hope we don't cover it. I'll be right back. Stop right now, or you're fired! Close the door. Get over here now. I'm not happy, Bob. Not happy. He got away. Good thing, too. <laughs> you were this close to losing your... Uh-oh. How is he? He'll live. I'm fired. All right. Oh, you think? What can I say, Rick? Nothing you haven't said before. Someone was in trouble. Someone's always in trouble. I had to do something. Yeah. Every time you say those words, it means a month and a half of trouble for me, Bob. It means hundreds of thousands of taxpayers' dollars. I know. We got to pay to keep the company quiet. We got to pay damages. Erase memories. Relocate your family. Every time it gets harder. Money, 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 money. We, we can't keep doing this, Bob. We appreciate what you did in the old days, but those days are over. 
From now on, you're on your own. Listen, Bob, maybe I could relocate you, you know, for old time's sake. No, I can't do that to my family again. Everyone just got settled out. I'll make it work. Take care of yourself. Now, what are you waiting for? I don't know. Something amazing, I guess. Me too, kid. Huh? Still? Match, Mr. Incredible. Oh. Room is secure. Commence message. Hello, Mr. Incredible. Yes, we know who you are. Rest assured, your secret is safe with us. My name is Mirage. We have something in common. According to the government, neither of us exists. Please pay attention as this message is classified and will not be repeated. I represent the top secret division of the government, designing and testing experimental technology, and we have a need of your unique abilities. Something has happened at a remote testing facility. Money! Huh? Wh what? Dinner's ready! Okay, okay. Although it is contained within an isolated area, it threatens to cause incalculable damage to itself and to our facilities, jeopardizing hundreds of millions of dollars worth of equipment it's and research. Is someone in there? <laughs> It's a TV, trying to watch. Because of its highly sensitive nature. Well, this mission stop is not crying. It's time for dinner. One minute. If you accept, your payment will be triple your current annual salary. Call the number on the card. Voice matching will be used to ensure security. The supers aren't gone, Mr. Incredible. You're still here. You can still do great things. Or you can listen to police scanners. Your choice. You have 24 hours to respond. Think about it. This message will self-destruct. Uh-oh. You are one distracted guy. Hmm? Am I? No, I don't mean to be. I know you miss being a hero, and, and your job is frustrating, and I just want you to know how much it means to me. Would you stay at it anyway? Uh, um, honey, about the job. What? S something's happened. What? The, the, uh... What? The company is sending me to a conference. A conference? Uh, out of town, and I'm just going to be gone for a few days. I've never sent you to a conference before. You're busy. Good, isn't it? Yes. You see? You're finally recognizing your talents. You're moving up. Yes. Honey. Oh, this is wonderful. Yes, it is. Hello? This is Mr. Incredible. I'm in. The Omnidroid 9000 is a top-secret prototype battle robot. Its artificial intelligence enables it to solve any problem it's confronted with. And, unfortunately... Let me guess. It got smart enough to wonder why it had to take orders. We lost control. And now it's, it's loose in the jungle, threatening our facility. We've had to evacuate all personnel from the island for their own safety. How am I going in? The Omnidroid's defenses necessitate an airdrop from 5,000 feet. Its cloaking devices make it difficult to track. Although we're pretty sure it's on the southern half of the island. Oh, one more thing. Obviously, it represents a significant investment. You want me to shut it down without completely destroying it? You are Mr. Incredible. I've got to warn you. It's a learning robot. Every moment you spend fighting it only increases its knowledge of how to beat you. Shut it down. Do it quickly. Don't destroy it. 